Hi, I'm Timothy Priscilla again, and we have a, we're looking at graphing feasible regions in my Math 1325 class. And here we're looking at a closed bounded feasible region, and the corner points are the points where the boundary lines change. If you trace along the feasible region, the first corner point we come to, right there, 0, 4, then we move down. And we're ready to change line, so there's the corner point zero zero. We move over here, there's the corner point five zero, and we have one additional corner point right there. It's formed by the intersection of the purple line, two x minus five y equals ten, and the red line x plus two y equals eight. How can we find that point of intersection? How do we find the point of intersection of two lines? We want to know where is 2x minus 5y equal 10 intersecting x plus 2y equals 8. Well, we saw matrix methods. We could use gauss jordan elimination, but I can't imagine anyone would want to use matrix methods to find where these two systems of uh, two lines intersect. Do y'all recall maybe elimination and substitution? Elimination and substitution? I, I prefer elimination over substitution, so I'm going to use elimination. I'm going to try to eliminate the x's. If I have a 2x here, what could I change this coefficient to so that it would eliminate the x terms when I add them together? Negative 2x. And I know that we do this in our refresher course, Math 373. So if you took one of the refresher courses, you would have seen that there. We want that to be a negative 2x. So we multiply through by negative 2. That gives us a negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 16. And the first one, that first equation stays just a 2x minus 5y equals 10. Adding the two equations together, what are we going to get? What's going to happen to the x terms? Let me add. Okay. That's why we uh, did this. We wanted to eliminate the x terms. Adding the y terms together, we get negative 9y is equal to here negative 7 no negative 6 part of me divide both sides by no, uh, negative 9 to give us y equals we could cancel a 3 above and below what did y'all say 2 thirds so the y coordinate is 2 thirds this little point of intersection there, the y coordinate is two thirds. Well, how do we find the x coordinate? Plug. What? Plug it in. It doesn't matter which equation you plug into, so plug into one of those two equations. I think I'll use just x plus 2y equals 8. So I'm plugging into the red equation x plus 2y is equal to 8. So x plus 2 times, what did y'all say, 2 thirds equals 8? What's 2 times 2 thirds? 4 thirds, so you have x plus 4 thirds equals 8. And I know most of y'all are going to want to eliminate that fraction by multiplying through by 3. So we have 3x plus 4, the 3 cancels, equals here 24. Subtract 4, that says 3x is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 3 to get our x value of 20 thirds.
So the three corner points, 0, 4, 0, 0, and 5, 0, we were able to tell just by looking at our graph. But this other one, the one that we couldn't just look at and tell, we used elimination, and it turned out to be 20 thirds, comma, 2 thirds. And you're going to have to be finding those corner points as we go through this process. And the method that I prefer is elimination. Any questions there? No, it's not. Okay.